I'm going to do this a little bit backwards. I'm going to show you the end product that I've got so far. If you like what you see, you can go watch the rest of the video and see how I put it together. I originally designed this for a horizontal application. Um, the last thing I did before I put it away for right now is test it in a vertical situation. So check that out and you can see uh, how it's done over the tests and then I'll show you how I built it. Okay, it's a little later in the day. Um, I brought this out front. I was going to put it away for now to tell I get my other one built, but I thought, let's try a vertical test. Um, because I do have those channels running for the way that I thought would work best. But here's my vertical test. It's later in the day. I do have full sunshine right now. And it's been full for about five minutes or so. It was behind a cloud. But uh, here's my outside temperature. And it says... 30.43 degrees. 30.1 is dropping. Okay, uh, still dropping. Let's check the temperature at the top. 177.8. I don't know if you can see that or not. But yeah, 177.8. So, and it's, I can feel the heat coming out of there, so apparently it works vertical as well. I didn't think it would. Uh, but I can definitely feel the heat. Sorry about that, coming out of that. Um, now, as I mentioned, in a vertical position with a fan, it's for sure going to get it. But I'm guessing that um, the heat, the air coming in the, on the first channel is definitely rising, and the air on the third channel is definitely rising. So I'm guessing that's just sucking the rest of the air through. So anyway, I thought you'd be interested in that. Okay. Here is my test solar air heater. I just packed it down here. Um, it's made with 2x4 frame, piece of half inch plywood on the back. By the time you put that window on it though, man it's heavy. So anyway, the next one I'm doing is out of 2x6's with aluminum cans inside. So those 2x6's are going to make it even more heavy. So, um, <clears throat> now this being my test subject, I did silicone my pipes in but uh, I haven't spray painted those black yet so um, I didn't get too anxious about that and I also haven't painted my my casing for this thing because when I do, do install it I don't know if I'm going to paint it or if I'm going to wrap it with aluminum that would make more sense so you don't have to worry about painting it every year um, I did a solar dryer for food dryer last year uh, it worked awesome through one season but at the end of the season the black paint that I sprayed it with was pretty much decimated. So um, I'm thinking that this year I'm going to make my dryer out of um, Trex decking material. That way I don't ever have to worry about fiddling with painting and I also don't have to worry about um, wrapping aluminum. I think it'll be more durable. So anyway, let's check the uh, let's check the temperature. I just barely set this down like two minutes ago. So <clears throat> Oh, and it's hard to read. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. But it says 36.9. Hopefully you can see that. That's my air going in. I just drilled a little hole and put a piece of tape around it and stuck my thermometer, my $8 thermometer I got at Target in there. And I did the same on the other end. So I did a horizontal on this one. Um, <clears throat> you could also put this in a vertical position, but for vertical you're definitely going to need uh, a little fan on it, and I plan on doing fans anyway, but for just convection, uh, it needs to lay horizontal. And let's see if we can see the temperature on that other one. Uh, I can't see it. So I'll have to go around the other side of the fence and check it. Okay, it's been about five minutes. I just drilled a hole on the other side. So I wouldn't have to try and look through the dumb fence. Uh, 39.8 coming in. 39.2, I take it back. I just turned this one on so it's probably calibrating. Uh, 38.0 it looks like. 37.9 going in. And if you come over to the other side, we're inside of five minutes. 
122 and rising. That's awesome. So we'll check it again in uh, like 15 minutes and then half hour and see what happens. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. <clears throat> Let's come out and check it. It's been 15 minutes since I originally set the thing down in the snow. Um, I'll have to turn the batteries back on, or the thermometers most likely. Oh, no, actually, still on. 146.3, coming out the hot side. And 34.7. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. I thought that taking it out of the pipe, because I wasn't sure if it was actually touching the pipe. I drilled a bigger hole, but I thought it may still be touching. I wanted to get a true representation of the temperature outside. And it's warming up out here. I do have it in the shade, but it looks like it's at about 40.2 degrees. 40.1. So right in there. The hot side, after 30 minutes, 164.2 and rising. That is awesome. Hope you can see that. All right.